So, you may have not noticed this subtle change in Minecraft 1.17, but if you are a realm owner, or a server owner, or anything like that, uh, for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, then you may have noticed this. I noticed this. You may have noticed this. And it, it sucks. So, what is the subtle details I'm talking about? Oh, oh, you know, it's just the fact that you can no longer slash kick and then, like, attack, basically. You can't do that anymore. So, why this is so bad is the slash kick, basically, is all of that UAC, or my Unity Anti-Cheat. You should go check those videos out, links in the description. Um, but basically, that's all my Anti-Cheat used was slash kick. And let me show you what I mean. If they're spawning in illegal items, you know, get them out of here. Uh, if they're, you know, if they've been manually banned, then, you know, get them out of here. This no longer works. In 1.17, this no longer works. So basically, it would just be cat slash kick at a and with anyone with a ban tag. And then after that is the kick message that they see once they're kicked from the game. Uh, 1.17 made me have to yeet all of this out. And now this is what we see. If, like, let's say they've been banned for fly hacks, uh, then we execute like some kind of ban asset. Uh, so what does what does that ban asset do? Basically, that asset is this. It's it's all of this. Mind you, this is gonna all be fixed by just slash kicking them. But no, 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 no. Here's what it does. Uh, so basically, they they get all these cool effects, right? Uh, and then all this stuff, that yada yada, that's kind of boring. I'm just going to actually show you what this does. So basically, if I do tag Nightwalker lots, add, and then like, I don't know, ban fly? Let me not be staff as well. Uh, and then this happens. It doesn't actually kill you, which is in creative mode. Uh, but then it says, hey, you've been banned for fly hacks. Uh, and then it starts teleporting you uh, to nine, 900 in the air. Uh, I can't see anything, I can't move, I can't do anything. Uh, as you can see, my mining is also super slow. Uh, so if I go to my effects, these are my effects. Basically, this is what it happens. Why are we not getting kicked from the realm that we're in? Well, that's because you can't kick people, which is the main topic of this video. It's all of this, basically, just to, just to do a hot fix for the slash kick. Well, I'm about to go ahead and kind of yeet this out of the window because I found... Or I didn't find this, but uh, a contributor to UAC found a lot a lot better system. So, to prove to you that this is a realm in 1.17, I have a little little guy here. Uh, his name is UAC Tester. So, we can, we can yoink the command block, basically, right? And let's just do uh, kick at a tag equals yeet. So basically everyone with the eat tag, they get kicked. Uh, make sure this is running. Always running. It's on repeat. No delays. And put that on. So what's supposed to happen is if we go ahead and tag add this guy yeet, nothing happens. And then it says, please provide the name of the player you want to kick. This is why this slash kick command is broken. The only way you can kick someone from a realm now is by doing this. Click, or kick, I'm sorry, their specific name, and then a random message, and then now they're kicked. So we can't slash kick from tags anymore. How do we fix this? It's actually a pretty simple fix. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use, we're going to start off by using a Minecraft environmental sensor. So basically if... Uh, they don't have the tag of staff status, but they do have ban with a capital B tag, uh, then perform an event. So the event is called UAC ban man. So this is just what happens when we put the ban tag on someone. So what, what does this do? Well, the event goes ahead and executes a command, basically saying, hey, execute at S function and then uh, an asset file for disconnect message. What does that really do? Well, if I go right click on that file and go split down, we can see that message right here. Basically, this is the function file that it does. It just basically says, hey, uh, 
at s has been you know banned by an operator and on top of that having making sure that message actually pops up in chat what we then do is we also give them a group called uac ban well what is what does this do it just gives them this component group right here uh uac ban minecraft instant despawn so basically what this means is the actual player entity despawns so basically whoop so basically think of this player right here. This is a player. I can go on my phone right now and kind of just move his head around. Is an entity. Now it has no AI, obviously, and it's not going to really do anything. Uh but the entity is always there. Even if you die, basically your entity is still there. Its health value is zero, and the client side gets a you know a respawn like menu that they can't do anything about. But once they click on that respawn button, obviously it trans makes sure they're back in the overworld, and it teleports them back to the coordinates in the overworld where their spawn uh, coordinate value is. The thing is, my main point is that this entity is always there. It's never not there. This entity is always spawned in. Let's say we kill this entity, right? It's no longer there. So that entity has now despawned after its health is zero. Players don't do that. A player entity actually never despawns, ever. Uh, if its health equals zero, then, you know, what I just said happens. Obviously, they get teleported, you know, and stuff, yada yada. It's, it's the illusion of death. What happens if we actually make this player entity despawn? Well, we can actually do that. So basically, as you just saw, it, all we have to do is go ahead and give this guy the ban tag with a capital B, and we will actually make the player despawn. So I'm going to go ahead and actually give the player the ban tag. So we'll go ahead and add capital B for ban. And what do you know, the message that we programmed is right there has been banned by an operator and they actually did get disconnected by uac once we go ahead and rejoin uh, i can actually see him joining in briefly but as soon as he actually spawns in uh it, they just get disconnected again and on my phone we will just see a disconnected screen dot unexpected packet what that means is basically the player entity despawn and night and the game doesn't know what to do if you do not have a player entity to control so it just disconnects you from the game um we can effectively now just give you know give a, a player a tag and they do get kicked from the game it's not really using slash kick we're actually just forcing them to to, to, to disconnect let's say i go ahead i i hit save and quit um and then obviously my entity despawns because I am no longer controlling uh, or have ownership of this entity. The entity doesn't have a player connected to it, so to the outside view, this entity right here actually just disappears. My player model just disappears and it actually despawns. What if we do that backwards? Everything is still happening as if I were to go ahead and save and quit and then, you know, un despawn my player entity. We're just kind of doing that a little bit backwards. We just spawn the deep, uh, the player entity, and the client and server do not know what to do about me being disc uh, or being connected to the server, but not having a player entity to control. Uh, so it ends up just kicking me off the realm. Uh, but this new kick system is going to be in 2.2.6 of Unity Anti Cheat. Um, so we have, you know, we have some some development things where I displayed the, the the video of how it worked for the first time uh, some pretty cool like GUIs and stuff all that cool stuff uh, we have active change logs uh, announcements so we're, we're really really we're really active with the uh, with how you guys give feedback and stuff um, and you, of course you could also do this yourself if you are also an add-on developer um, UAC is actually open source so if you can kind of understand this uh, then you're welcome to use this new system as well. Um, and before I go ahead and sign off, I just want to go ahead and actually thank this guy right here, Mr. Patches123, who actually helped us develop this new kind of like kick system based on the despawn component. Um, he, this guy is actually, uh, with, without this guy, that this uh, the system that I just showed you would not be possible.
So if you guys are wanting to plan on, you know, using a system like this in your realm or in your server or anything that's ran by BDS, uh, then I would go ahead and uh, check out the link in the description where I will link the Unity, uh, the Unity Discord. Uh, and I, from there in the Unity Anti-Cheat Discord, there will be a tons of links to go ahead and uh, download Unity Anti-Cheat. Um, go ahead and, you know, we have a Trello page. Uh, we do have a Patreon, all that cool stuff, a bunch of stuff uh, for engaging with our audience, taking feedback, and it does get updated regularly. So definitely go ahead and check that out. And also give praise to my other developer as well, because he works just as hard as I do at this anti-cheat. Also, if you like this kind of concept and and you want to go ahead and, you know, are looking forward to more concepts like this, uh, I would also go ahead and leave subscribe, since I probably will make be making more of these types of videos uh, in the near future. So do not do try to go ahead and support me as well. It would very much be appreciated. Uh, but I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can become my savior or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.